ni. Kita buat maintain aktiviti dulu. Okay. This one. Okay, kita dah belajar yang single phase kan? Single phase rectifier. Uh, ini ialah dua converter or four quadrant converter. So, can, please, can you please go to menti.com and put in this uh, number, the code and answer this question. I hope all of you can participate ya. Eh, sebab based on your participation, baru saya tahu your understanding. Uh, based on apa tu previous class punya quiz, baru saya tahu your understanding juga. Uh, selama ni semua diam. Uh, diam tak semestinya faham. Ada setengah diam tak faham pun. Ya. Yeah? Okay. So please. Do this. Uh, 1000 RPM DC motor must apa, must drive a load, sorry, must drive a load at minus 500 RPM and minus 50 Newton meter. What are the range of firing angle to be given to the converter C1 and converter 2, C2? Okay, based on this, <coughs> uh, kita tengok the speed and if you know the speed, you tahu apa value VA, and you know the relationship of VA with V1 and V2. Without any calculation, you can assume what is your VA. Then you know what is your V1 and V2. Tak payah calculate pun. Okay. Tak payah perlu calculate pun. Okay. So please participate, eh, all of you. Just choose either yang nombor satu ataupun yang nombor dua punya. Okay. We have done this. Baru lapan orang. Mana lagi? Okay. Tiga belas orang. Mana lagi? Based on this description saja, dulu dah boleh assume. Kena boleh assume, you dah boleh tahu dah. Apa benda dia punya try firing angle. Eh, bukan firing angle. Yes, firing angle. Alpha A1 and alpha A2. Okay. Okay, 15 orang je yang participate. Okay. Okay, let's look at the answer. Okay, the answer is memang yang, apa tu? It's between, tengok answer eh, sebelum tu kita discuss dulu. Okay, so let's discuss together. Okay, this is a single phase. We have learned this uh, previously. Dan hari ni kita akan masuk yang baru. So sebelum masuk yang baru, uh, three phase is just the same as single phase. Cuma the source uh, are different. So memang you kena make sure you faham uh, this question. Okay, so kita tengok. Sekejap Okay, so kita tengok, uh, 1000 RPM DC motor must drive a load at the speed of minus 500 RPM and torque at minus 50 Newton meter. What are the range of firing angle to be given to converter 1 and converter 2? Okay, okay, both this converter will be connected to your amateur. And if you are using the amateur control, uh, so you will have different uh, firing angle lah nanti kan. So first of all, kita nak kena tahu the quadrant. Quadrant of operation. So in which quadrant uh, this rectifier will be operated? Anyone? Third quadrant. Third quadrant. Sekejap eh. Saya tak berapa dengar lah. 
Okay, third quadrant. Why third quadrant? Negative speed, okay. negative torque. Yes, we have negative speed here and we have negative torque. Okay, based on the information, we have negative speed and negative torque. So, uh, kita akan berada dalam quadrant number 3. Okay, so if you have negative speed, okay, ini the rated speed is 1000 uh, RPM. This is rated and rated. And the operating speed Nm is minus 500 okay rpm so if you can see here that the speed of operation is less than the speed of the rated motor eh? kita ambil dia punya value saja not the negative ni value dia apa orang panggil ni aduh modulus yes modulus tu saya <coughs> dah Okay, tak apa, tak apa. Modulus ni, kita ambil dia value je. So, negative sign tu, kita tak tengok. So, kita, kita tengok dia punya uh, value is less than the rated speed. Then, apa kita, control yang kita guna kena guna sekarang? VA. So, we, we, uh, we, we use VA control. Yeah? Ini you kena tengok one by one. Walaupun soalan dia tanya benda lain, what's the angle, you cannot straight away Uh, do the angle you kena analyze dulu. Mungkin tadi you boleh tengok, you boleh terus dapat jawapan kan. Tapi uh, in real life ataupun dalam question mana-mana lagi, you kena uh, tengok one by one. Okay. So sekarang uh, VA control for VA control only VA will be uh, apa changing and VA must be between zero and VA rated. And when you have VA control, your flux is constant. And K flux also constant. Okay, ini very important if you want to do the calculation later. Alright. <coughs> so, in this case, for uh, quadrant 3, you will have the speed is negative, right? So, the, the speed is related to which value? Your VA, betul tak? If you have negative speed, means your value of VA also must be negative. Betul? Hmm. The torque will relate to your IA. So, negative torque, you will have negative IA. Alright? So, if we see the relationship between uh, VA and V1. Kita ada uh, V1 plus V2 equal to 0. But previously, kita tengok VA equal to V1, right? So, in this case, kalau VA is negative, means your V1 also will be uh, negative. Okay? So, kalau V1 negative, what is the range of uh, firing angle? Negative voltage? 90 to 180. Yes. Uh, kita tengok balik cosine. The range of firing angle alpha A1 will be between 90 to 100. 80. Alright. So, jawapan dia, kalau yang alpha A1 is 90 to 180, so alpha A2 will be 0 to 90. So, this is the answer. Alright. So, macam tu. Ya, yeah? faham semua? Ada yang jawab uh, ini, tak apa. Kita still learning. So, tengok macam ni. Kalau dia speed negative, your VA must be negative. And When VA is negative, VA have the relationship uh, dengan V1, VA equal to V1. When VA is negative, your V1 is also negative. So, for negative voltage, your uh, firing angle will be between 90 and 180. Okay? Itu je. Boleh faham semua? Boleh eh? Boleh. Alright. Kejap saya tengok ada lagi tak soalan. Soalan ni pula. Hmm, okay. Okay, yang mana dah sempat uh, tengok um, menti tu, I mean, sorry, yang mana dah sempat tengok video, kita buat satu lagi soalan. Uh, the second question. Okay, this one. This one for three phase. Okay. If firing angle of the rectifier on the amateur side is 60 degree, 
Okay, this three phase, two quadrant because you have <coughs> the amateur and the field uh, part. Okay, ada dua je. Okay, main, and it is supplied from 463 phase. Calculate the value of VA. Okay, tolong buat ni tak? Boleh tengok nota kalau tak sempat uh, tengok video, boleh je refer nota for three phase. Okay, the introduction dekat three phase tu. Okay, boleh kaklik. Ini amateur side eh, so you have to kaklik your VA. Okay. Okay tak? Please refer to your notes. Tengok ada a formula tu. There is a formula to calculate VA. Okay. I hope you're ready eh dengan your notes apa semua. Please. Prepare. Mana lain? Cuba sebab kalau you cuba baru you tahu you faham ke tak. Kalau you buat salah pun nanti you akan ingat kita pilih kita explain baru you akan ingat. Okay, we learn from our mistake. Okay, firing angle 65 degree. The supply three phase 460. Okay, this is three phase. Can single phase the three phase. You have another formula. Okay. Okay. So, semua ingat answer masing-masing eh. So thank you for 17 students as 17 students yang participate. I hope more of you can participate eh. Jangan you masuk kelas je tapi tak participate. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Let's look at. Uh, Let's look at the answer. Okay. Tadi escape. Okay, let's discuss. Let's go to the next question. Okay. All right. Hmm. Boleh nampak semua? So, which formula you want to use? <coughs> if the firing angle of rectifier on the amateur side is 65 and supplied from 463 phase, calculate the value of VA. So, dia punya left side is your alpha A. Okay, firing angle for the amateur side, 65 degree. Okay, this is your field side. Okay, now it is supplied from 460. Volt, three phase. So what is this value? Okay. So it's always line to line. Kalau three phase, this value will always the voltage line to line. Okay. And we will be using this formula. VA equal to three V line to line over pi cos alpha A. Alright. So macam mana nak dapat V line to line peak ni? V line to line max ni yang peak. Peak value. Okay. Macam nak dapat? Given this line to line RMS. How to get your peak value? Times set 2. Yes, you have to times set 2. Okay. 
So, kalau buat ni V at LM, LLM time 460 so you get the peak value. So, in order to find your VA, VA equal to 3 times root 2 for 60 over pi times cos 65. Okay. <coughs> so, if you calculate this value, what do you get? 262.54. Yes, you will get the answer 262.54. Okay, book. So, kena make sure eh, antara single phase and uh, three phase, dia ada sikit beza on the formula. Okay, for single phase, uh, apa formula yang kena guna? Kalau salah formula pun nanti you dapat salah jawapan. Okay, for single phase, you want to calculate VA equal to 2VM over pi cos alpha A macam tu. Where VM is your VRMS, uh, VM is set 2 times VRMS. So, given uh, the voltage given is always your RMS value unless dia memang state that is a apa, peak value, eh, peak voltage. So, normally dia akan bagi RMS value. So, for 3 phase, your VA will be equal to 3 V line to line peak over pi cos alpha A. Okay, so ini dia punya formula for single phase the difference between the single phase and three phase. Boleh? Yang mana dapat jawapan yang kurang tepat tadi, ha, uh, make sure you tahu kat mana you buat salah. Eh. Uh, this is the answer. Boleh semua? Alright. Boleh, Doktor. Uh, any question? Yeah. Yes, yes. Kalau VF ni. Okay, VF. Eh. Kalau VF, okay, katakanlah kan, this type of question. Uh, dia bagi VF rated equal to 150. Macam saya explain sebelum ni. And then dia kata rated speed is 1000 RPM. Okay, NM rated. And NM operation, kata nak, nak run the load at 600. So if we compare the speed of operating and the speed of uh, rated, speed of operating ni less than speed rated and eh? rated speed betul tak? So this is VA control. Kalau VA control, uh, you akan dapat new VA based on your calculation. So alpha A, you are, daripada new VA baru you calculate your alpha A. But for the field winding, because it is VA control, flux is constant. Betul tak? Betul. Kalau flux constant, apa lagi constant? VF. VF, VF constant. constant. RF pun constant. Betul? So, in order to find your alpha F, you'll be using the rated field voltage. So, alpha F, sama jugalah. Nanti mungkin dia akan bagi supply for the field ataupun dia kata the supply for the field and the amateur is the same. So, formula akan sama juga. 3 VLLM over pi cos alpha F. Macam tu. Okay. Uh, yang ni sebab dia kata on the amateur side. So, dia tak, dia, dia ignore lah the field side. Ini just a short question. Boleh tak? Boleh faham? Uh, so, doktor kalau uh, untuk field winding, kereta uh -huh. tu kita tak payah darab square root 2 kan? Uh, kalau dia bagi source nanti kena darab square root 2 lah. Oh, Mungkin kena. dia, ha, kena, kena. Mungkin dia akan kata the supply for the rectifier at amateur side is 400 uh, volt. Then dia kata lagi the, the supply for the field side, field side, Mungkin dia kata 3 phase uh, 230 volt kan. So oh. kalau 3 phase, 3 phase memang kita kena darab. Uh, root 2 untuk dapatkan uh, maximum or peak value of the voltage. Selanjutnya so, given ni ialah RMS value. Boleh faham? Faham doktor, thank you. Uh, okay. So, if it is VA control, so nothing to do with uh, the field winding. So, nak dapat dia punya alpha F, you can use the rated voltage 
uh, for the fail. Tapi kalau dia nanti kalau dia buat flux control, yang VA pula akan constant, uh, kita tengok nanti apa yang berlaku. So you have to calculate for new VF and you will have the new alpha F. Boleh? Good question. Thank you for asking. So, let's recap what we have learned so far. Okay, summary for DC drive control rectifier. So, we have AC source and control rectifier. For control rectifier, we want to find the firing angle in order to control the speed of the motor to drive the load. Yeah. So, <clears throat> for control rectifier, we have learned uh, about the single phase. And for the speed control, we have learned about uh, the VA control and flux control. You akan dengar ni sampai bila-bila, so akan melekat je kat kepala tu. Uh, VA control, speed, uh, VA control is speed less than the rated speed. Flux control is speed is more than the rated speed. So we have <coughs> be using this formula a lot of time. Okay, VA equal to EA plus IA RA. EA equal to K phi omega and T equal to K phi IA. Okay. So the value of speed we have relationship with VA and the, val uh, the value of torque ada relationship dengan IA. Okay, for two quadrant in order to calculate for your VA or to calculate for your firing angle you'll be using this uh, formula. You under, you ada only uh, one rectifier kan? Okay, one rectifier, single phase, amateur side. So you'll be using this formula. Okay, this is two quadrant. For four quadrant, sebab you ada dua rectifier, one is pointing up and the other one is pointing down like that. And you will have two alpha, two firing angle, alpha A1 and alpha A2. So you will be using this formula. Okay, for V1 and V2. For four quadrant, uh, for voltage, V1 plus V2 equal to 0 and VA is always equal to V1. VA also equal to minus V2. Okay, tapi you ingat satu je. VA equal to V1. Okay, then alpha A1 plus alpha A2, this one, will be equal to 180. Yeah. This is for amateur. For the field winding, VF, to calculate alpha F, free winding kat mana? Kalau for four quadrant, the free winding will be here. Yeah? Okay, but it's the same to calculate for free winding for both two quadrant and four quadrant. Alpha F, we will be using this formula. Boleh ke? This is the summarize of single phase uh, rectifier. Okay. So next, this one dah. Okay. Next, we go to control rectifier, three phase. What's the difference? Now, the source <coughs> supplied for the rectifier adalah three phase supply. Sebelum ni pun, you pernah buat power elap. Kita tengok eh, kalau you buat single phase, dia akan ada satu saja source dia. Yang ni, dia akan ada three sources. Okay. Both for VA amateur side. This is amateur side. And this is your phase side. Okay, ini two quadrant. Why two quadrant? Kenapa two quadrant? Kenapa two quadrant? Quadrant mana? This one. Quadrant one and quadrant four. It is two quadrant because the voltage can be negative but the current cannot be negative. So in both this quadrant, uh, top is positive but the speed can be positive and negative. Betul? Boleh faham? Boleh? Boleh, boleh. So V out, this is the formula. Kalau you belajar power electronics dulu, V out equal to VLLM over pi where Vm ni is the peak line to line voltage of the supply and alpha is the firing angle to the thyristors. Okay, so in this case, how many thyristors do you have? Sebenarnya, kalau you buat eksperimen dulu, ingat lagi tak? Ada Four. enam. Ada six. enam kan? Ah, yes, six. Six thyristors. You have six thyristors for three phase. 
Yeah. <coughs> so on the amateur side, uh, in order to calculate your alpha A, you will be using this formula. The only this difference ini je. And kena ingat, untuk cari the peak value of the voltage, you must time root 2. Eh? Okay. Given voltage, you times root 2. Jangan lupa, ini kena ingat betul-betul. And for the field side, you are using the same formula also. Assuming that, kadang-kadang kita boleh assume that the supply to the field winding as the uh, equal to the supply of the amateur winding. Unless dia bagi tahu it's different, so you will be using another voltage for the field winding. Alright? Okay, sekejap eh. Ini apa pula? Ini sama juga explanation macam hari tu kan? Okay, macam Okay, kita explain sikit lah. Okay, for quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. Kita dah belajar banyak kali quadrant 1. Tak apa. Lagi kita repeat, lagi kita faham. Okay, lagi kita ingat. Okay, for quadrant 1, it is known as forward motoring. Why forward? Because the motor is, dia ada positive speed. They go forward. And motoring, why motoring? Because both the speed and the top are in the same direction. Okay. So the speed is positive. EA and VA positive. And VA have the magnitude greater than EA. So because VA is positive, the angle is between 0 to 90. The punya firing angle. Okay. And IA is positive. Means top. The top is positive, then IA is positive. So, this is quadrant number one. Boleh? Because VA positive, the firing angle will be between 0 to 90. For quadrant four, we call it as reverse braking. Why reverse? Because speed is negative. Okay, speed is negative, sebab tu reverse. Why braking? Because uh, the speed and torque are in different direction. So, the braking lah. Okay. When the speed is negative, VA will be negative but the magnitude of EA greater than magnitude of VA and the firing angle for alpha A must be between 90 to 180. Boleh? This is two quadrant. The operation is just the same uh, ataupun the explanation is just the same as the single phase supply. Any question? No? Okay, ini kita dah buat. Ada soalan ke? Ini kita dah buat ke? Belum. Ini belum. <coughs> okay, okay. <coughs> Sekejap. <coughs> kita buat satu lagi menti ya. Eh. I hope semua orang boleh participate. So, bolehlah. Tengok you faham ke tak? Okay. Nampak ke saya share ni? Alright. Boleh nampak? Okay. If firing angle Oh, this is this single phase pula. Okay, this is single phase. Tak apalah. Dah ada kita base, kita nak tengok your understanding. Sama je single phase and three phase pun kan? Okay, if the firing angle for C2, C2 means converter to is 124 degree and the motor is operating the load under braking mode which quadrant of this operation okay braking mode so ini this is single phase ah tengok betul betul single phase dual converter means four quadrant Four quadrant. The braking mode. Braking mode is either quadrant two or quadrant four. Itu you kena faham. Braking mode is either quadrant two or quadrant four. Now, C2 is 124 degree. So, kalau alpha A2 is 124, what is the value of V2? V2 
Is it negative or positive? Hmm. Negative. Uh, so, so, V1 apa? V1 positif. So, kau dari mana? Tengok betul-betul eh. Jangan pakai tanda je. Fikir sikit. <coughs> Semua participate eh. So, siapa yang yang memang buat menti apa saja aktiviti dalam kelas, you memang akan faham. Dan memang insyaAllah buat test ni pun okey. Ya. Yeah. Sebab ini kita belajar, adab belajar bila cikgu suruh buat, kita kena participate. Ha, keberkatannya kat situ. Okey. Kefahaman semua kat situ. It's okay. Kalau salah pun tak apa sebab we are still learning. Okey. Alright, so memang breaking quadrant 2 or quadrant 4. Tapi yang mana satu yang betul. Okay, so 18 orang dah buat. You ingat jawapan masing-masing ya. -masing, yeah? So let's discuss. Okay, thank you. Semua orang, 20 orang yang participate ni, insyaAllah. Yang ni semua A nanti. Hmm. Okay, let's look at, let's discuss. Let's discuss. Okay. So, this is a question. Kalau dia single phase or three phase, sama saja. You punya, you nak analyze the problem. Okay. So, first, Allah. First, kita look at squadron. Sorry. Omega and T. Okay, it said the firing angle for C2, alpha A2, now is 124 degree. Okay, so what is the value of for alpha A1? Kita boleh cari yang ni, just straightforward kita boleh cari yang ni. Which formula kita nak guna? Alpha A1 plus alpha, alpha A2. Alpha A2 equals to pi. Yes, this one. So what, what's the value of alpha A1? 56. <coughs> mm -mm. 56, okay. 56. Alright. Apa lagi formula yang kita ada? Kita ada VA equal to V1, right? Lepas tu kita ada V1 plus V2 equal to 0. Alright. So tak apa. So kita tengok balik ke quadrant. We said it's under breaking mode. Which quadrant breaking mode? Kita ada quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So breaking means the speed and the top, the different direction, kan? Okay, eh, sorry. Top. So, it's either quadrant 2 or quadrant 4. Betul? Now, uh, when we have this relationship, okay, so kita ada V1 sekarang. A, alpha A1 is equal 56 degree. So alpha A1 it is between 0 to 90. So what is the value of V1? Is it negative or positive? Positive. Positive. Yeah, it is positive. Okay, positive value. Kalau V1 positive value, the speed positive ke negative? Positive. positive. So, the speed also positive. So, ini dah lah jawapan dia. Quadrant 2. Yes, the answer is quadrant 2. Okay, so it is based on your value of uh, V1. Sebab VA equal to V1. You boleh nak tengok juga V2 boleh. V2 is negative kan? V2 is negative. But VA equal to negative V2 macam tu kan? Betul. Ah. So equal to V1. So still positive lah dia punya. <coughs> VA ni positif. Okay when VA is positif. When VA is positif. Speed akan positif. Dan dia akan operate in quadrant number 2. Alright. Sudah faham tu. Okay. 
So next kita tengok apa pula. Okay, this is the explanation for four quadrant. Dia sama je macam single face. Ada soalan tak sebelum tu? Saya, tak kisah saya pergi laju sangat kan? Takut tak faham pula. Any question? Tak ada soalan lagi eh? So, untuk three face, four quadrant ni, they're just the same as we have learned for the single face. Yeah? Maknanya, in order for, in order uh, to have macam, this is positive speed, positive talk. In order to have negative talk. Okay, negative talk. IA, kita kena ada IA that going positive and also kita kena ada IA yang boleh jadi negative. Okay, that's why kita tambah satu lagi converter which is converter 2. And both this converter is at your amateur side and you have another converter dekat uh, your field winding ni, you have another one. Okay, this one you will use if you have flux control. Okay, ha, ini dekat your fair winding. Okay. Alpha A1 and alpha A2 dekat your amateur winding. Dekat sini you ada alpha F. Your fair winding. Okay. So now the supply will be your three phase supply. It can be supply from the same uh, memang dia akan supply from the same supply pula. Okay. Dia akan bersambung. <coughs> so both converter operated to produce the same voltage across the terminal. So your VA is this value across the terminal. V1 plus V2 equal to 0. And this is the formula to calculate for V1 or alpha A1 where VLM, LLM is the peak line voltage. Okay. Selanjutnya so, is given RMS value. So, you have to times by root 2. Okay. Same formula used for uh, V2 to find your firing angle for uh, converter number 2. And this firing angle of both converter must satisfy this equation. Boleh sampai sini? Boleh. Semua ni semua dah ada dalam slide video yang suruh, saya suruh <coughs> sekejap batuk pula. Okay, semua ni dah ada dalam slide yang saya suruh tengok lah. Okay, dalam video tu. Alright, sekarang apa-apa. Okay, this is the summary of the operation for four quadrant. Macam juga yang um, for single phase. Ada yang tak faham tak? Kalau dah faham, saya tak go through this slide. Ke nak saya go through juga? Macam nak go buat? Go through lah kan? Go through juga, okay. Ingatkan nak buat practice problem terus. Okay, you have Q1 which is quadrant 1. We call it as forward motoring. Ini dah memang dah pandai dah. Kenapa forward motoring? Sebab speed positive. They go forward. Then they have positive torque. <coughs> Same direction for both the speed and the torque. So it's called forward motoring. So in forward motoring, VA is positive. Sebab tu you akan dapat speed positive. And IA also positive. Then your torque is positive. When VA is positive, VA equal to V1. Okay. VA equal to V1. Therefore, alpha A1 ni akan between 0 to 90. Okay. Why? Because you have positive VA. And VA is equal to V1. So, kalau positive speed, tengok balik the cosine. Your firing angle is between 0 to 90. Okay. You tengok satu je untuk Converter number 1, kalau converter number 1 0 to 90, then automatically converter number 2, dia punya firing angle will be between 90 to 180. Boleh? Then, for quadrant number 2, we call it as forward braking. Forward because the speed is positive. Braking because you have negative torque. 
actually a different direction. So that's why you panggil dia braking. Sometimes macam soalan tadi, dia kata operate in braking mode. Ha, jadi you kena tengok whether it's forward or reverse braking based on the firing angle. Yeah. So the magnitude of EA in this case is greater than BA. You have IA negative because the torque is negative. But because VA is uh, positive, VA equal to V1. So V1 also positive. That's why alpha A1 is between 0 to 90. So kalau alpha A1 between 0 to 90, automatically for converter 2, dia between 90 to 180. Boleh? For quadrant number 3, reverse motoring. Why reverse? Because the speed is negative. And the torque also negative. Same direction, yeah. Sebab tu dia reverse motoring. In this case, because the speed is negative, so nanti you akan dapat VA is negative. Okay, negative juga. The relationship of VA and V1, VA equal to V1. So V1 also will be negative. Jadi kalau V1 negative, based on cosine ni, eh, negative voltage, you will have the, convert, the range of firing angle is between 90 to 180. Okay. For reverse braking, the speed is negative, torque is positive. Reverse because the speed negative, braking because the speed different direction with the torque. So VA also negative, therefore V1 negative, therefore alpha A1 equal to uh, 90, between 90 and 180. Boleh eh? Okay, saya nak buat yang ni pula. Kita ada berapa minit lagi. <coughs> Kita try this uh, question. I hope some of you dah try ke? Ada yang dah try? Okay. A 220 volt, 70, 750 RPM. 200 ampere separately cited DC motor with an amateur resistance of 0.05. It's used to drive a hoist. Hoist ni apa? Inilah hoist ni. Kita guna untuk angkat benda berat kan. Mungkin dekat pelabuhan ke mana. Okay. All this are the rated value for the motor. Okay. For the DC motor. Okay. The amateur is fed from a three-phase dual converter. What's the meaning of dual converter? Dual ni dia four quadrant lah. Four quadrant converter also known as dual converter. With circulating current control. The AC source is 400 volt. Okay, line. When the motor operates, operates in forward motoring, converter 1 works as a rectifier and converter 2 as an inverter. Okay. So, calculate the firing angle for both converters to operate the hoist under motoring operation. Motoring operation, ingat kodron mana? At rated torque and minus 600 RPM. Okay. So this is dual converter means uh, macam ni lah four quadrant. So ada dual rectifier on the amateur side. Boleh faham soalan dia? Okay let's do it together. So first apa yang kita nak kena tengok ini? Apa yang kita nak buat? First, yes first step kita kena tengok <coughs> in which quadrant uh, operation ni eh. Oh, oh. Okay, T. Dia forward motoring. Kalau forward motoring, kodron mana? Calculate the firing angle. Sekejap, calculate the firing angle for converter to operate horse under motoring operation at rated torque 600 RPM. So, kat mana ni? Nm equal to minus 600 RPM. Quadrant 3. Quadrant 3 middle. Hmm. Quadrant 3. Ha, dia quadrant 3. Kenapa? Dia reverse motoring. Dia speed negative but the torque positive. Yeah. Quadrant 3. Dia reverse motoring. Okay. 
what control strategy uh, for this? <coughs> what is the control strategy? VA control. Hmm. VA I control. Saya tengok, tengok and M rated 750. Jadi, the value of operation ni, dia punya, apa, modulus dia tu kan? Less than an M rated. So, this is VA control. Kalau VA control, flux constant. So, nothing to do with the fill winding. Okay. K flux also constant. And VF also constant. Okay. Only VA will be changing. Now, how to find alpha A1, alpha A2? In order to find alpha N1 and alpha A2, kita kena dapat apa? VA, right? Kita VA. kena calculate VA. In order to calculate VA, kita kena ada apa? VA kita boleh dapat from this formula. Flux. This formula, in order to calculate VA, kita kena ada EA kan? Kena ada EA, RA is given. Kita kena ada EA and also IA. Okay. Ingat, for this converter, kita nak cari VA1 for alpha A1. So that kita nak cari this one. Macam mana nak cari VA? By using this formula, EA plus IA, RA. We already know IA, RA. Kita kena cari EA and IA. Macam DC motor yang kita belajar sebelum ni kan? So, at rated, what is the value of um, EA? Ataupun at rated, apa value of flux? Kita kena calculate flux kan? Okay, at rated. Ingat lagi tak? Rated, kita kena calculate EA and IA. So, K flux rated. Macam mana nak dapat ni? By using this formula. EA over omega rated kan? Omega rated dah ada tapi kita tak ada EA. EA macam mana nak cari? This one at rated condition. Kita kena calculate EA and IA. So EA at rated equal to VA rated. Minus RA, IA rated. Ini semua dah ada ke? Dah kan? IA tak. Eh, IA rated. Ya, ya, ada. ada, ada. Rated. This all rated condition. Yang ni kita dah buat masa DC motor dulu. Okay. So, kenapa kita nak cari EA rated? Kita nak cari K flux. Sebab K flux tu constant. Jadi tak berubah. Jadi ini 220 minus 0 0.05 times 200. So kita dapat EA rated equal to? 210. Ya, yeah, 210. Ingat ni eh, apa pun kita kena cari the value at rated condition. From this rated condition, then we can calculate our K flux. Okay, K flux equal to 210 over Omega. Omega rated berapa? 750 times 2 pi over 60. Boleh sampai sini? 2.674 per radian per second. Okay. First of all, kita tak boleh straight away buat nak cari alpha A1 and alpha A2. Okay, kita tahu nak cari alpha A1 and alpha A2, we must have VA. But in order to find VA, kita kena ada EA. Okay, that's why kita kena calculate <coughs> EA at rated condition dulu. Boleh sampai sini? Boleh ya? Eh? Okay. So now, okay. So now, at minus 600 RPM, baru kita nak calculate EA. Okay. EA new. Ya, yeah, EA new. Okay, macam mana nak calculate dia? EA new ni equal to K5 omega M. Okay. Jadi 2.674 times jangan lupa minus eh. 2 pi over 60. Okay. What do you get? 
negative 168.01 negative 168.01 volt so this is your ea dah dapat dah ea ni ra pun dah ada what about your ia how to get your ia new the rated ia this one mm -hmm. macam mana dia kata calculate the firing angle when the horse under motoring operation at rated top what is rated top now macam mana nak cari rated top k flux a k flux a Hmm. Tadi uh, at rated Kita nak cari rated top T equal to K flux IA So T rated equal to uh, 2.674 Darab IA tadi kan Macam tu ke? Macam mana? Oh tak perlu tak perlu Top Rated tok, ok 200, 200 macam ni. Dapatlah tok dia kan? Rated tok. 534. Uh, 534. Ok. NM. Tapi dia kata sekarang, is operated at rated tok. Uh, rated tok. Kalau rated tok, ini tak berubah, tok pun tak berubah. Jadi IA pun berubah tak? Tak berubah. IA tak berubah. Tapi it is in quadrant 3. Kalau quadrant 3, the torque is negative. What about IA? IA negative. kenapa? Kena negative. Ya, yeah, IA pun kena negative. So, what's the value of IA sekarang in this case? Negative 200. Uh, because it's operated at rated torque, IA is not changing. So, IA is equal to IA rated but you have negative sign. Because talk is negative. Rated talk, kalau dia tanya talk pun, rated talk is uh, 534. But now the talk at operation, dia akan jadi negative 534. If the question ask for the talk lah kan. Hmm. Boleh? <coughs> Boleh sampai sini? Sebab kenapa kita ambil rated talk? Because dia cakap this motor is operating at rated top. Sebab tu kita klik the rated top. So, lah pula. Sekejap eh, patutnya kena ada lagi. Uh. Ah, saya padam ke tadi? Oh, ada. Okay, sorry, sorry. Sekejap, kita ada satu lagi slide. Nak buat calculation. Next. Okay, apa lagi? After that, what do you get? You already get your EA. Kita tulis balik eh. Negatif 168.01 volt. And IA equal to minus 200 ya. Yeah? All this at minus 600 RPM. All this value. Uh, so, put in the formula, calculate for VA equal to EA plus I A R A negatif 168.01 plus minus 200 your I A and your R A. Okay, berapa dapat value? Negatif 178.01. Negatif berapa? Negatif 178.01. 178.01. Boh. So your V A is negatif, betul? Betul. Ha. And kalau you tengok sekarang ni, uh, the magnitude of VA is greater than EA. So, ini quadrant 3 punya lah operation. Okay, sebab dia motoring. Yeah, VA dia greater than EA. So, now, how to proceed? Since VA is negative, so kita dah dapat tahu V1 also mesti negative and alpha A1 mesti akan between 90 to 180. Betul tak? Kalau kita tak calculate pun lah. Okay. Now kita teruskan our calculation. So alpha A1 equal to <coughs> um, negative V1. Okay. Negative 178.01 times pi over 3 
what's the what's the source okay source is 400 line so root 2 400 betul macam mana ni hari ni ada cos sorry cos ah macam tu okey what do you get cuba kat klik Dapat tak? Dapat ke? 109. Hmm, 109.24 degree. Okay. Sebab apa? Sebab uh, you have negative voltage. Now straight away you can calculate your alpha A2. Tak payah guna voltage pun. Ya 180 minus... 109.24 you will get 70.76 degree <coughs> boleh faham sampai sini faham doktor ah okey so kita tengok balik first macam biasa you kena dapatkan quadrant then hmm, apa tu apa itu speed control ah then based on this you kena calculate your BA. So in order to find your alpha A1, alpha A2, first you kena dapatkan VA. Okay, VA. From uh, VA, kena dapat VA, kena rather your EA. And in order to get your EA, because it is control, uh, VA control, you ada K flux. And this K flux must calculate from your, oh sorry, rated, rated, and this v k flux ni you can calculate from your rated condition macam kita buat sebelum ini okay you can, cannot straight away find alpha a1 and alpha 2 ini dia punya step okay boleh okay dah 11 o'clock Sorry for uh, lambat pula. Okay, thank you for coming. I hope to see you next week. Next week kita akan masuk lagi topik baru which is the chopper. Eh? Okay, that's all for today. Saya tak sempat nak tanya faham ke tak. Apa-apa soalan je tanya dalam telegram. Alright. Okay, thank you. Thank you, doctor. Have a nice day. Okay, have a nice weekend. Bye. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. <coughs> thank you, doctor.